Meghan found herself excluded from the International Film Festival as George Clooney and his equally glamorous wife, Amal, graced Venice, Italy, in anticipation of the city's prestigious 80th International Film Festival. George Clooney, ever the embodiment of elegance, sported a sharp navy blue polo top and pinstriped pale blue trousers, expertly complemented by reflective sunglasses and brown suede shoes. By his side, Amal looked sensational in a floral shift dress, exuding style and sophistication. Her outfit was perfectly accentuated by a pair of stiletto heels designed by Roger Vivier. This outing was a moment of relaxation and togetherness for the couple, who were celebrating nearly nine years of marriage. They savored their time together as they prepared for the start of the Venice Film Festival, an event typically marked by the presence of Hollywood's most illustrious stars, gracing the red carpet to promote their cinematic endeavors. However, this year's festival promised to be a more understated affair than in years past. Many prominent Hollywood figures chose to stay away from the event, concerned about potential breaches of the Screen Actors Guild SAG, rules following a strike. While previous editions had been characterized by the dazzling presence of renowned celebrities, this year's festival would feature only a select few independent productions, allowed to engage in promotional activities. Notably, Venice confirmed that Adam Driver and Jessica Chastain would be among the attendees. Inside sources revealed that Meghan's absence from the International Film Festival was the result of her violation of SAG rules. She had engaged with the streaming service Netflix for an upcoming project, a move that ran afoul of the ongoing strike. Meghan had longed for a celebrity lifestyle and had sought to emulate figures like Amal Clooney in terms of status and influence. She eagerly associated herself with prominent figures in Hollywood, extending invitations to her wedding and baby shower. However, it became apparent that the Cloonies had distanced themselves from Meghan, recognizing her as a dishonest narcissist. Meghan's predicament stemmed from her penchant for instant gratification, often bypassing the need for effort or patience. She seemed to assume that her marriage and royal title automatically commanded respect, a notion that reality did not support. Amal, a genuine lawyer dedicated to making the world a better place, had declined to assist Meghan with divorce counseling. The Cloonies were the latest in a growing list of A-list celebrities reportedly distancing themselves from Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, who appeared to be losing their standing within Hollywood's inner circles. This shift suggested that their circle now consisted of individuals less associated with acting and directing, a marked departure from the past, when their friends had frequently come from Hollywood's creative elite.